Wow. Oh, your, wow. Your eyes gotta be bigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Welcome back to Koh Samui and a really local restaurant on a really local beach in the northern area of Banrak. I've come down to have dinner with Flora and Note. They live full time on Koh Samui and I thought what better way than not just have a nice dinner on the beach, having some local cheap Thai food, but also to ask them some questions that you guys have asked me that I don't think I'm qualified to answer about life, daily life. Uh, living full-time long-term on Koh Samui so if you're interested in this beautiful restaurant and what we get up to and what we eat tonight and also to learn more about what it's like here living on Koh Samui full-time pre-pandemic during and after and th then stay tuned and enjoy this really nice local seafood feast Thai food feast on this beautiful beach let's go Why can't we be like that? We've been married too long. Ten years? <laughs> this is what ten years of marriage <laughs> did to us. Spy. Nung spy. Nam ken kap. Is that how he actually says it? Very close. Really? Yeah. Spy. Oh, oh there's a T in it. Spy. Because, I spite you. Because if you say spy. It would mean the know, wine the, cooler. The wine cooler. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. <clears throat> Look at that. You do not get fresh out watermelon shakes anywhere in the world. Amazing. And I'm making a mess. <laughs> okay. In true Thai food, seafood restaurant style, all of the food has arrived very quickly. <laughs> So fast. And oh my god, you should see the scenes here. Look, there's a beautiful wooden, sort of like Titanic esque yacht just sailing across. You've got Koh Pang Yang in the distance. You can even see Moonstone behind there. And look at this beautiful beach in both directions. I mean, look at that. Isn't that the most beautiful afternoon? You know, funny story, we were actually going to have dinner at Chi, which is a different restaurant, about 500 meters there. Um, but when we arrived, it had just finished raining and they it's an outside restaurant so we couldn't eat there basically so we'll go there again soon and we'll take you there because the whole menu there is CBD marijuana infused menu so I think it's really interesting anyway we're all starving so let me just show you quickly what we've all got so the first dish is probably the one I'm most excited about this is soft shell crab in yellow curry powder sauce lots of onions and peppers it's not too spicy and obviously soft shell crab which is incredible we also have another soft shell crab dish. This time it's in black pepper with garlic. And here you can see a good example of the soft shell crab. And don't be scared to order soft shell crab because, like I'm about to show you, it's so soft, even with all the shell. It's incredible. Then we have a classic som tum, papaya Thai salad, uh, not too spicy. You can't go wrong with that. That goes with every sort of seafood dish. Then we've got some tiger prawns in fried garlic. And look at how they're just dancing in that sunlight here on the beach. Looking forward to those. It came with a free fried rice. Not very interesting, but we'll take it. Then we have some Thai style deep fried calamari. So it's kind of tempura style and it comes with this incredible rich hot chili sauce which will like drizzle on top or you can use as a dipping sauce super incredible and then i think the final dish oh we got some some spring rolls <laughs> but we already started eating them because we were so hungry so you know just a little entree and then this is um what is this stir fried mushroom. mushroom 
stir fried mushrooms okay in oyster sauce in oyster sauce so if you love mushrooms and veggies there you go which i do and then this is a this is the star this is fried catfish with mango salad and there's a little bit of fresh red chili in there the fried catfish is here it's like it's almost like battered a little bit like um oh, i've ever seen that type of batter before it's escaped me Maybe I've just had fried catfish before, huh? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it just reminds me of something else. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it does look a bit like an omelette, maybe, maybe. Anyway, we'll let you know how much all of this costs. We've got a few soft drinks and smoothies and a coconut, and at the end, we'll let you know how much it costs. But fingers crossed it doesn't cost too much because this is a really local place. By the way, the location of this restaurant is in the description. It's directly opposite the hill that I run up um, and I showed you recently. So, super close to Banrak, on the beach. I mean, look at this. Incredible. Mm. This is my new favorite spot. <laughs> All right then. Well, firstly, what was your thoughts on the food? Did you have? It was nice delicious. Meal? This yeah? is probably my new favorite. One of the favorite. Best one. <laughs> 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 Should we try again? Try again. <laughs> try again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is the behind the scenes of really It's happy. like you've never talked yeah. to a camera before. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Snap. Out of it. So, how did you find the food? It was delicious. What was your favorite? The soft shell crack. Which one? The both garlic? Kind. Both kind. Both, yeah. yeah. What I about like you? the curry one. I think the curry one was better than the pepper one, but there's, yeah, they're both really good. The, the, the fried catfish with the mango looked the best, right? But it wasn't. Because it just, yeah. I was like, where's the fish? And you were like, oh no, what's it? they just diced yeah, the fish Yeah, meat? they just mix it, mix it with the batter. Because like, it just, the it. batter was falling apart and I was like, where's the fish? But I think the British man and me is like, <laughs> you have a battered fish and it's all fish meat with a bit of batter on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. And I expected it to cut into it and have all the flesh of the catfish, but nothing happened. It was just like eating batter. I don't know if you've ever heard of, um, what do they call it in fish and chip shops in England? Um, scraps. Have you, have you ever been to a fish and chip shop? Not really. Not no, okay, real so British when they one. get the fish out of the oil, it's covered in batter and there's bits of it that are like mm. too much and it kind of like comes down and they use scissors or a knife and they just or tap it off and mm -hmm. they, they tap all the batter onto the grill onto the onto the ground basically and then they they brush all the scraps to the side and then when you order fish and chips you can get the nice premium fish covered in batter mm -hmm. put it on the chips and then you can add for free Sprinkle although it's they charge in london mm. even though they're called scraps they charge for london and then they get a, a, a little scoop of the batter and put it on top of the oh, chips. Okay. Wait, they do this in Thailand? With chicken, fried chicken. Fried chicken. Okay. But the, because I love eating that, it's called, um, was it the hom? Hom. Shallot, the no, deep fried shallot. Hom tot. Hom tot. Hom tot is the same thing. They put the fried shallots, like basically the scraps of the deep fried chicken, the shallots, and then they put it on top of the sticky rice. And that's like the best part of oh, the fried chicken. Oh yeah, right? it's like an right? option. It's an option that you, they will ask you. Do they, they charge you extra? No. no. See, in in, Engl in England, like in London, it's like fifty pence for scraps or a pound. <laughs> but up north, they're like, yeah, they're scraps for a reason because they're scraps. We're not going to use them. You can have them. <laughs> anyway, so let's, <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about Koh Samui. So, <laughs> for anybody who doesn't know, Flora and I, you've been living here since when? Last year, August. August. So one year. Mm -hmm. one, one year. year. Almost one year. Yeah. Oh, just as exactly your one exactly year. Exactly one year. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Right. <laughs> August thirty first. So we still have a month before we hit a year. Oh, 
Oh. All right, so since this video is kind of based around food, I've got some food questions and then I've got some other Samira questions. Um, so just, just answer the best you can. Are you ready? Yes, yeah, we're ready. ready. So all of these questions came from you guys. Um, you, I put like a, one of those Instagram things, like ask me a question about Kai Samiri. Um, and uh, these were the ones that I thought were the best. So thank you to everyone who answered. So the first one is, where is the best place on Koh Samui to get street food? Now this is important because I love street food, so I don't actually off the top of my head know the answer, so what do you think? I think it's Natan, Natan area um, near the ferry, because they have like a Tuesday market. Yeah, Tuesday but, night market. Is that where you were skateboarding that time? Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Um, but there's two actually, there's one everyday night market which is smaller um, right beside the pier but then there's this huge one on Tuesdays and they actually cancelled it for a couple months and I we think they're bringing it back like they just next started week. yeah started again last week, oh, last All week. Right, well we, let's go let's go make a video there or something I yeah. think it's the biggest uh, um, street food market every night mm -hmm. or just every Tuesday, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Okay. Right. but every night they do have a smaller section yeah all right okay by the way I'll put all of the questions in the description and then any links that help you find the information that they talk about like I'll leave the Google map link for that street food market for example just check the description for all of the information. What's the, your favorite restaurant and why? So gun to your head. You can only eat in one restaurant. I think our answer is going to be different. Yeah. Yeah. So you go first. Mine would be Jie Mui. There's this place called Jie Mui in Manam. They serve like this delicious herbal broth roll noodle soup. Uh, in Thai, we call that Gui Jap. Right? It has like braised uh, <laughs> fall off the bone chicken. Oh my god. And like a so little good. piece of tofu and then half of a boiled egg. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Wow. And they also have one of your favorite dishes actually Khao Man Gai. Khao Man Gai? Oh, I love Khao Man Gai. Oh, so chicken or rice. They're yeah. also known for Kanom Jin. Oh, Kanom so, like, Jin? Yeah. Like, I had a really good Kanom Jin in uh, Kiri Wong mm -hmm. in Nakonsi Tamara. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's, I love that dish. And it's so cheap. And they have a lot of selections of dessert. Like Thai, Thai dessert. desserts. Like traditional desserts. Should we go there and make a video? <laughs> <laughs> you have to go there. Okay, all right. For sure. So we'll link that below. And then what about you? What's your favorite restaurant? I really like, it's also in Manam because we, we live in Manam so we like to eat around there. But it's, there's really good food. And my favorite is the fish. So they, Did we eat there? Yeah. Oh, well, you, you didn't eat that day. So you don't know how good it is. You oh. had tea. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, so. We went, I went to this restaurant and the food did look amazing and I was gutted I wasn't eating, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. I think I'd already ate, it was quite late yeah. and you guys invited me. Yeah, yeah. but so it was the really good. Really sweet. It's all yeah. food, right? I think the, I'm not sure who the owners are because when we went there it's always these three, the two ladies and a guy and mm -hmm. I think they're Burmese. Yeah. So they work there and they basically run it and, and the lady can cook, like she's so good. Uh -huh. But I think the owner might be Thai. Um, but we never met them. But the food is delicious. It's like um, their seafood is amazing. Like all the fish dishes are amazing. So this is a financial question, but like, how much do you typically spend? I don't know how you track your finances because I'm terrible. I just kind of look at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, that's how much I spend <laughs> in a month. But do you know how much you roughly spend a month on food? On I think food alone, like, it's, it, it changes each month. Yeah. But I think I, I would say an average of. 20 to 15 to 20, 15 to 20 I think, thousand. thousand. Between you? Between yes. the two of us. Okay. But we don't really eat at really expensive restaurants. Yeah. And we mostly eat like Thai food or local food and we cook at home sometimes too. You don't have to answer this, but they also want to know like, how, what's your typical spend per month overall? So rent, food, accommodation, mm -hmm. activities, bills. Do you know, is it roughly the same? Yeah, I think it's roughly around 60,000. Yeah, including rent. Um. So you chop that down the middle. Do you think that would, if, if it was just one person, they could live on thirty thousand baht a month easily on the island? Oh yeah. yeah. I yeah. think so. I think the the big cost is the accommodation. So yeah. if you can still find something under ten thousand yeah. or around that price yeah. for a single person, I think it's doable. I'm getting a lot of questions from people saying, you know, I really want to come. Like, how much does it cost to live hmm. and stuff like that? And I. I I, I, I showed them Lana mm -hmm. and then they want to know well, what else can you find so maybe I'll do a video soon about accommodation costs mm -hmm. or overall costs 
And um, yeah, one good thing about Samui is that you can eat, you can live very affordably, or you can find a very expensive place. Yeah. So there's yeah. best of both good worlds. Bar, good yeah. Yeah. you can get like a studio or even a, a small villa for eight thousand baht. I think at one point replay just across from us here. Five thousand. One studio was five thousand baht. Yeah, five thousand baht for an apartment per month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right then, so next question. Where's the best place to get authentic Thai food, in your opinion? Everywhere or just in certain places? Again, we live around Manam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because Manam is our favorite area. Yeah. And there is this place called Nang Hong Khao Gang. Khao Gang, which is, you know, like, they have all this pre-made food and you just choose to go on top with your rice. Yeah. Um, How do you like it too? You know, like the curry, the yeah, curry yeah. shops. Yeah, yeah. We we stopped. Yeah. We stopped there the other day. We, yeah. Well, not that exact shop, but you know where they have all the pots and all the yeah. you lift them up, and each one's got yeah. something delicious inside. Yeah. And it's so that. much fun to go like yeah. to look to see what's in the mm. pot. Forty baht, thirty baht. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. Forty-five baht, fifty baht for a meal. Mm. Like so you main can main three name is the area that they live in, and um, it's in the north of the island. Mm -hmm. And when we drive through it twice a week to go to Muay Thai. Um, we, we always drive and go, there's loads of stuff happening here, there's loads of restaurants, there's people moving around. Mm. It seems like the capital city of Koh Samui, even though it's kind of just a few yeah. little I think it's just uh, located in the middle between a very local area and the fancy area. Fancy area. Yeah. Yeah. So, you so the last two questions are, I'll just ask them at the same time. So the first one is, what's the worst thing about living here full time? And then what's the best thing about living here? So let's start with the worst thing and then we'll end on a good no. So you live on Koh Samui, there must be times where you're like, oh, I don't like this about living here. Because to me, it seems pretty <laughs> perfect, but they obviously have got quite a few things. Well, for me, it is perfect. I, I try to think of a, one thing that I don't like about this island. What about last night? <laughs> <laughs> With the electricity went off. So last night they had a power cut from midnight till when? Five in the morning. Five in the morning. Now we didn't have it, but yeah. Lana has a generator. Uh, maybe so if that's there's why. a power cut, we're okay, but wait, so how often does a power cut happen? Not often, yeah. okay. but, and if it happened, it only lasted for like five minutes max. So that was just a free class night? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what's the worst thing about living here then? I can't think of any. I have one. Not though. for me. Oh, you do? Yeah. I have one just because um, I don't like... I don't ride a motorcycle, like I don't ride a scooter, so I can't really get around here other than walking around, which yeah. sometimes things are really far apart. Like in Shanghai, So you wish I could, there was a bus that went around? Yeah, or like if Grab was more available and cheaper, I would grab like in Chiang Mai, I would grab yeah. like Actually, one here. of the questions that came through that I didn't make it to the list is, you know, what's it like living here without having a motorbike mm -hmm. or not being able to ride a motorbike? And, you know, when you came, you didn't ride a motorbike. How did you get around? I Google Graph or I contact someone on Facebook like like the tourist thing. So can you come pick me up and take me to the plane? Yeah. So was it bit. soup? Was it hard? Or was it? It's actually it's quite easy to get around if you pay the money, but the cost is pretty overpriced. Yeah, it's like yeah, three hundred. Right. The taxi will charge you like you know three hundred baht. Just go for like two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. public transport sucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean if you have a bike, that's cool too. But yeah, yeah I can't you... imagine life without a bike. Come yeah. on, get a bike. We need, little, she needs to learn how to ride a scooter. Get a little yeah. Honda Fino. We're going to make a video about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ride a scooter. All right, then, so last question. Let's end on a note because we're losing light. As you can see, it's gotten dark. Um, what's the best thing about living around Samui? Oh, my death. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, I just mean, the lifestyle. all the lifestyle, like, all the videos that we have made just living on the island is like the food, the the beach, it's beautiful, the people. The people. Yeah, and it's not too small, been. is it? It's quite big. It's not, it's you actually could, very convenient. I, 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 now that I'm doing the Samui side quest for a while, I'm thinking to myself, I could do these for months. I could be here for a year and still find so many cool things to do here. You're right, I, w I was really interested to know what you were going to say because I was thinking like, I don't know anything that I don't like about Samui. Because you know, doing the provinces that I've been doing, province by province, this was the one place where I was like, man. Remember when you guys were like, do you like Samui? Do you like mm -hmm. Samui? And I was like, I love Samui. You were like, yeah. yeah. We're so happy you like Samui because we think it's amazing. And like, don't get me wrong, Chiang Mai 
is like my home, but you know, it, the smoky season sucks. Mm -hmm. it does. And Samui has a rainy season actually. When is the rainy season, would you say? I would say like November to January. maybe January. So over the Christmas period. Yeah. Okay. And you know, when it rains, it kind of sucks because you're stuck in the house. You know, there'll be days when it's not rainy season, obviously. Clouds come, storms come, it's an island in the sea. And when those days do come, you kind of are sat at home. But I would imagine rainy season would be a little bit, ugh, you know, every yeah. day it's rain, every also day rain. That, um, there's a lot of flooding during rainy season, actually. That actually was a worry of mine when we were moving here because if we were living in like a small soy or something and it's flooded, then how do we get out? Like they say it's pretty bad. Can but over swim? the years, <laughs> <laughs> we've seen us swim. I think we need life jackets. <laughs> And actually, a couple years ago, somebody got the really, yeah, really bad really, flood. Yeah, really, really bad flood. Yeah. Oh. And but they recently just fixed all the drainage in the, the oh. road. Yeah. So they're slowly like improving that. Because I think before they said around Baput area, Showing. like it's, it's completely yeah. flooded if it's raining really Okay. Hard. All right, well, that's it. So we had some nice dinner on the beach, some nice local seafood. I hope those questions were interesting and the answers were what you wanted. And uh, if they were, tough, because that's what they think, and that's what <laughs> is the truth here on the island. So anyway, chok di kap. Chok di kap. And um, soda water, because we're still off the booze, and these guys are not drinking. We're training for our fight. If you don't know, me and Noah are having a fight next week, aren't we? For charity. And, and, you can donate right now. Click the link in the description to donate to a really good cause. Um, we're raising money for people in need on the island and the last we checked, we've already beaten our target of 200,000 baht. So if you think, oh, I, I want to help, you can. Just because we've made the target doesn't mean you shouldn't stop donating. Let's smash the target. The more, the better. Exactly. The more you donate, what's it on now? 251,000? 251. So if you're watching this, um, in a couple of weeks, the, this will be finished. But if you're watching this right now, before the fight on the 4th of September, Go donate, please go donate. Help the people on Koh Samui. The more money we raise past the target is just more food for longer for the people who need it. So, thanks for coming. Thanks for having, thanks for having us. us. And thanks for paying for dinner. That was really yeah. sweet. Wait, let's it? get oh. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring my wallet. Oh, oh that me too. Yeah. Oh, too bad. Well, I guess we have to uh, clean the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Team effort. <laughs> okay. Bonus, we forgot to talk about the prize. So, all of the food we had and some soft drinks, what do you reckon? Now, uh, Flora already saw the price, but you didn't, so what do you think the price will be? 1,200 baht. The answer is 1,864 baht. We'll just call it 2,000 with a tip. Not too bad. It's not it's still not too bad for four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe we had a lot of seafood. When we went to Coco Tams the other day, our bill was one thousand baht more than that, and it was just us two, and we had less food. So this place is very cheap and very affordable. Um, when you think about how many f dishes we had and four people, and also is this a thing in your country? But in Thailand, no cash. You just scan a QR code. It opens up on your app, and then you send money across. Like. This is a thing in Thailand. I don't know if it's a thing where you come from, but it's amazing. So, there we go. Shut it off now. Go home. <laughs> Turn it off. Go. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. Please. Pretty please. Okay, you're taking a piss now.